Hi everyone, it's Miss Carol, and we are on week 15 of our Sunday School Google Classroom. And this week's theme is Getting Stronger with God. Our scripture comes from 2 Timothy chapter 2, verses 1 through 13. So as I always say to you each week, if you have your Bible handy, I'd love to have you read along with me. So it's 2 Timothy chapter 2, verses 1 through 13. I'll begin. <clears throat> you then, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus. And the things you have heard me say in the presence of many witnesses entrust to re reliable people who will also be qualified to teach others. Join with me in suffering like a good soldier of Jesus Christ. No one serving as a soldier gets entangled in civilian affairs, but rather tries to please his commanding officer. Similarly, similarly anyone who competes as an athlete does not receive the victor's crown except by competing according to the rules. The hardworking farmer should be the first to re receive a share of the crops. Reflect on what I am saying, for the Lord will give you insight into all this. Remember Christ Jesus, raised from the dead, descended from David, this is my gospel, for which I am suffering even to the point of being chained like a criminal. But God's word is not chained. Therefore, I endure everything for the sake of the elect, that they too may obtain the salvation that is in Christ Jesus with eternal glory. Here is a trustworthy saying. If we died with him, we will also live with him. If we endure, we will also reign with him. If we disown him, he will also disown us. If we are faithless, he remains faithful, for he cannot disown himself. So that, boys and girls, was Second Timothy uh, chapter 2, verses 1 through 13. So, our theme is getting stronger with God. Today, God reminds us to be strong in Christ Jesus. What gives you strength? Have you ever heard that eating the breakfast cereal Wheaties makes you stronger? Or maybe you've tried to lift heavy weights ooh, to make your muscles grow. Your mom has probably told you that eating your vegetables will make you strong. Make you strong too, right? You know what? All of this is true. Each of those things will help in some way to make you stronger. But here is something else that helps us to be strong. Maybe he doesn't make our muscles strong, but he sure makes our hearts strong. His name is Jesus. And the Bible tells us that when we learn more and more about Jesus, when we trust him more and more and more each day, we become stronger. Listen to how the Apostle Paul said it in our passage for today. A soldier wants to please his commanding officer, so he does not waste his time doing the things that most people do. If an athlete is running a race, he must uh, obey all the rules in order to win. The farmer who works hard should be the first person to get some of the food that he grew. Think about these things that I am saying. The Lord will give you the ability to understand all these things. Did you understand what Paul meant? A soldier doesn't want to waste time cleaning his room or washing dishes, he has much more important things to learn, which will keep him safe and make him a better soldier. An Olympic athlete doesn't win the game if he cheats. In fact, cheating will cost him the entire game. Farmers, well, they put in a lot of hard work, but when that hard work produces food, 
then they should have plenty to eat. Finding strength in Jesus is what helps us to achieve success just like that soldier, that athlete, or that farmer. When God is on our side, when we trust that Jesus will help us through anything, there is no stopping us. In fact, in another part of the Bible, Paul said this, I am convinced that nothing could ever separate me from the love that Jesus has for me. Jesus loves me that much. Where do we find strength when times get tough or things don't go our way? We pray to God and we ask Jesus to stay close by us. And then we become unstoppable. We get stronger every day that we are with God. Isn't that true, boys and girls? We get stronger every day with God's help. Well, I hope you enjoyed our lesson today. And this is our last lesson. Lesson 15 was the last lesson uh, moving into summer. So we won't have any more lessons because we would be starting summertime when we don't have Sunday school. So in the fall, we'll, we'll start something new for you. But for now, this was the last lesson. And I hope you enjoyed all of our lessons that we had. There were so many wonderful themes and, and so many great scriptures that we read. So I hope you are having a good week. And you know, I always say to you every time that I am here with you, that God loves you every second, every minute, every hour of every day. I hope you remember that, boys and girls. Take time. Out of, our, out of your busy week. I know you go to school. School will be over soon next month. We're in May and in June, most of you will be off of school. I hope you'll take time when your activities um, and your schooling aren't as prevalent in your life that you have more time. Take time to talk to God. He's always waiting to hear from you. And remember what I always tell you to keep those ears open and listen for when God is talking to you because he's with you always and he loves you very, very much. Well, boys and girls, I hope you've enjoyed our lessons that we've enjoyed together every week. I hope you learned something and I hope you enjoyed reading our scriptures or if you weren't reading with me, you were listening to me read to you. And I, and I hope you enjoyed spending time with me each week. So enjoy your summer. Until we meet again, blessings to you all. I miss you. Bye.